Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my Helium 10 review video. As you can tell by today's video title, I'm going to be giving you an honest review of Helium 10, going over quite literally everything you need to know about Helium 10 right here. We've been going through all these different tools and giving you a far overview so you can be familiar and really make an informed decision to see if Helium 10 is going to be right for you because you know, when you first look at the tool, it could be quite overwhelming. But nevertheless, guys, we're going to be going over quite literally everything you need to know. We're also going to be going over the Chrome extension of Helium 10 as well, which I find to be pretty powerful, a very, very, very unique tool um, as well. And we're also going to be going over some Helium 10 alternatives as well, because Helium 10 may not be right for you as well. It's something to consider, right? You see like a lot of like these Helium 10 YouTubers and bloggers promoting Helium 10 as an affiliate, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. You know, I'm an affiliate for Helium 10 myself because I believe in the product, but with that being said, there are some other alternatives as well, so we are going to be going through that later throughout today's video as well. So without further ado, let's begin today's video on our Helium 10 review video. Now, if you are looking for a discount for Helium 10 or you're looking for some coupon code so you can save the most amount of money with your Helium 10 subscription, links will be down below and we'll be going through the pricing plans of Helium 10 later throughout today's video as well. So keep on watching this video for that and a lot more information. So the first thing I want to go over with you guys in today's video and the first thing I want you to most importantly to understand is how you can use the Helium 10 extension right here on Chrome right here. So you will need Chrome. So if we go ahead, as you can see right here, we have the Helium 10 extension installed. I really, really like the X-Ray tool right here because it's perfect for product research. It's a sales estimator as well. So you can get a good idea of like how many sales are being made for a certain product within a certain niche. So for example, if we go ahead right here and we search the keyword security camera, you could do this for whatever niche you want, of, of course. So if we click on search right here, you'll see right here that we do have a bunch of products that we can actually go ahead and look at. So if we go over here and you'll see that the extension right here allows us to basically see a bit of extra information right off the bat, which is pretty cool. But the main feature I really like inside of the Helium 10 extension right off the bat is the fact that we can use the X-Ray Amazon product research tool, which I find to be very, very, very powerful. So go ahead and click on that. Just let that load. You'll see right here that it gives us a bunch of helpful information. It gives us the search volume right here, which is over 200,000. And we can click on the search volume right here right off the bat. And we can see that it's been going up a lot as of lately, right? So within these last 30 days, the search volume for the keyword security camera on Amazon has gone up insane, like an insane amount, right? So if we click on all time right here, we can see that it's had its up and ups and downs. So um, you might want to consider that when choosing a particular product, obviously. You want ideally like a you know product that has stable search volume and that is that it's kind of like also going up for the most part right so that's very interesting so as you can see right here we can see a total revenue right here the average revenue for these particular products as you can see we can go through these different products right here that we have on screen and we can go ahead and actually click on the sales graph for a specific product right here so let's just go over here and if we click on security camera outdoor as you can see it's made 880 seven sales which is pretty cool and we click on the sales graph right here to see how many sales that they're making on a regular basis so as you can see these last 30 days the sales have greatly increased so it's actually going upwards and if we click on all time right here you'll see that we get some even more information so during this particular time right here like during the last year you'll see that the trend is actually going down a little bit in sales all time so it's very interesting to keep in mind as well so you can actually see that information right here as well and you can also see the different prices of the products as well, the different brands, the BSR rank as well for all these different products, which is pretty cool. FBA fee, so you get like a lot of like stats and information that you can get access to very, very quickly. And you can export this information and download it as well and download a CSV report, obviously, so you can keep it offline. So very, very, very powerful tool right off the bat as well, just off the extension right here. Now, if we go inside the Helium dashboard right here, as you can see, there's going to be the product research section. So this is where, depending on like what you want to do inside of your business or depending on like more importantly, what stage you are during your Amazon journey, you know, selling journey, right? You're going to be using different tools more than others, right? So if you're completely getting started with Amazon, then product research is going to be a very important part of actually finding you know the right product to sell and to actually make money off right so you'd be using like black box which is a very powerful amazon product research tool then there's obviously listing optimization so once you go ahead and actually like figure out which product you're going to be selling then you want to optimize your listing so it actually shows up in the search results inside of like amazon right here so you can optimize and you know include the keywords in your like like amazon listing so it like ranks for different keywords that can get you search volume and sales right 
And then naturally we have analytics, which where you can actually track your product ranking or other product rankings within the Amazon marketplace. Um, and then you can obviously keyword research right here as well. So you can find lucrative keywords that do have search volume that are low competition. So you can go ahead and rank for that as well. And then learning as well. So learning is pretty cool as well because I know when I first got started with Helium 10, I was quite overwhelmed. I was like, well, there's just so much to like learn, right? And even just like getting started with Amazon, it can be quite overwhelming as well. So uh, if we go over here to Freedom Ticket, Free Training in the Academy, you'll see right here inside of our Helium 10 review that we do get a $997 course included with Helium 10, which is pretty cool. Then there's obviously some, you know, articles as well that goes over like a lot of like different like questions and a lot of information regarding Helium 10 in general. And then we have Helium 10 Academy, which is very, very important as well. I strongly recommend going for that as well so you can really master the Helium 10 tool so you can really use it to its full potential, right? It goes over product research, keyword research, basically all the different tools inside of Helium 10 right here, as you can see on screen. So let's go over here to product research, click on black box right here. Now you'll see right here inside of black box that we can go ahead and choose the country. So whatever country you want to sell on and whatever marketplace you want to sell on. So maybe you want to sell on Amazon.com, which is USA, Canada, Germany, Australia as well, Netherlands. So whatever like marketplace you want to sell on, you want to go ahead and choose that. So I'm just going to leave it as USA, for example. And we can go ahead and choose a category of products that we're looking to like do product research in or maybe like a niche that we want to get into. So let's just go ahead and choose camera and photo for an example. And we can go ahead and put in the monthly revenue, the price, the review count, review ratings, and all this type of stuff so we can refine our search results so we can get different products that we are going to be looking for based on the information and the results or the, like the monthly revenue that we want to like get, get for an example. So we can also do some advanced filters as well and like leverage this. And there's obviously plenty of different like filters we can apply as well. I don't want this video being too technical, so I'm just going to like leave it as it is for now. But something you may want to consider when it comes to the advanced filters is going to be the BSR right here, the best sellers rank. You may want to go ahead and actually put in like a minimum and a maximum when it comes to best sellers rank. So you can kind of like find that middle ground when it comes to finding those hidden gems and those hidden gem products within the marketplace. Now, when it comes to price, I like to like put it above like 20 or 15 at the very least so we can actually like find some products that can give us good margins because if you're trying to like sell like a two dollar product or a five dollar product it's a lot more harder to actually like make revenue and to really make some profits right and then you can put in like monthly revenue for example so let's just put in three thousand just as a bare minimum we'll just do two thousand will be a little bit more or less greedy i guess i don't know so you can also put in the review count as well let's just go ahead and click on search and we'll see what the, we actually get inside of black box right here so, as you can see, 200 plus products found. We have various different products. We have the price right, we have the sellers, the price right here, which is $491. Obviously, we're in the camera and photo niche, so there's gonna be a lot of expensive products right here. So that's a pretty much a given. So I probably could have gone ahead and actually like had like an even higher price, considering that we're in a really, really like, you know, high ticket niche, so to speak, because these type of like products are quite expensive. Like, look at this one right here, like <laughs> very, very, very expensive, right? As you can see, we can see the monthly sales, the monthly revenue, the BSR, you know, rank, the reviews, all this type of stuff as well. So this can be very, very helpful. So you can do some even more product research and hopefully find the product that you're looking for as well using Helium 10. So um, that's a brief overview of that. You can also do the same when it comes to finding keywords, competitors, competitors right here, when it comes to like doing all this other different stuff as well. Now, what I like to do after this is I like to go over here to keyword research so I can go ahead and do some deeper keyword research and analysis. So um, I like to go over here to magnet to do some more keyword research. So if we click on magnet right here, you'll see that we can go ahead and actually do enter a keyword and do some more keyword research. So let's include the keyword security camera for an example, and let's get some more keywords so we can actually go ahead and do some more deeper keyword research that we can potentially rank for. And you'll see how this all comes together in just a second because what we're going to be doing after this is we're going to be optimizing our listing. And again, I hope I'm not going too fast. Um, I do want to make this video as simplistic as possible. So um, I just want to go over that as well. Anyway, as you can see right here, you will see that we do have a bunch of filtered keyword results right here. So there's over 27,000 different keywords, which is pretty crazy. Now, as you can see, the main keyword right here is going to be security camera, which gives has a quite a lot of search volume, you know, surprise, surprise. And there's obviously, you know, 
gives us like some top products, the word frequency right here. And as you can see, we have a full list of all the different keywords, the search volume for each given keyword, the Megan IQ score right here. So a high score means a relatively high number of searches compared to the number of competitors. A low score means the opposite. So that's something to consider right here as well. The search volume trend, you know, all this type of stuff right here you can keep in mind when it comes to doing some product research. So what I want to, what I want to do right now is I want to go over here to Helium 10. So if we actually just open a new tab, because I'm going to be showing you how we can up, uh, optimize our listing. So if you are like already an Amazon seller, like you're already like an intermediate or an advanced seller, and you want to optimize your listing so you like rank for different search terms inside of like the Amazon marketplace right here, so you can get a bunch of like traffic, free traffic on Amazon, then make a bunch more sales and keep on watching because what we can do inside of Helium 10 is we can go over here to listing optimizations and we can go to scribbles which is a very, very powerful tool. It's actually one of my favorite tools inside of Helium 10 when it comes to optimizing my listings so I can actually rank inside of Amazon quite a lot more effectively, let's just say that. We can go over here, so you wanna choose your marketplace obviously. And when it comes to like creating like the, the title, bullet points, the subject, all that type of stuff. So when it comes to pretty much optimizing your listing on Amazon, you wanna make sure that you include all these different keywords that you find inside of like the keyword research section. And you want to make sure that you include as many variations of these keywords that you want to target right inside of your listings so you can actually rank and appear in the search results inside of Amazon, right? So what we can do right here is we can put in the main keyword right here. So if we put in security camera, okay, and if we just, let's just add any random keyword for example, right? I'm not going to be doing some deep research today. Again, I want this to be a big overview so you can get a good idea of what to expect inside of Helium 10. So... If we just, we'll just add these two keywords, all right? So if we click on apply right here, okay? So okay, I probably could add more keywords to be fair, but basically like as you can see right here, you can add various different keywords. You can make a giant list, right? So as you can see, when you're writing your title, it will give you like a checklist of like words to include in your listing so you can optimize and rank for the given keywords you wanna rank for inside of Amazon. And it also includes like phrases as well. So you can add that to your listing of optimization. So it's a very handy tool as well. So when it comes to keyword research and competitor analysis as well, we can go over here to Amazon and we can get the ASIN for a given product. So let's just copy this for an example. And we can go over here to keyword research and we can go over here to Cbro. And if we can go over here and do a reverse lookup. So if we go over here, Let's just load the page. We can enter a bunch of, well, up to 10 products right here. So let's just enter one for example. And let's get a few more. So let's just enter one more because I don't want this video being too long, right? So if we go over here and keep on watching as well because we're gonna be doing a price analysis going over some Helium 10 alternatives as well that you may wanna consider as well before purchasing Helium, Helium 10. So go over here to get keywords. We can obviously get some keywords doing that way. And what we're basically doing right here is we're getting keywords based on these products that we found on Amazon within the search. So you want to get basically your competitions like keywords right here using this um, reverse lookup tool. And you'll be able to see like what they're actually currently ranking for. And you can see like, you know, what's getting them the results, which is leading to their success, right? So it's basically like the old saying, like model success and basically see what's already working. So you can apply, you know, bits and pieces to your own business. So as you can see right here, you know, we get a lot more information just off that right off the bat. You can obviously click on get competitors as well if you want to basically like get competitors so you can see what everyone else is doing as well. So as you can see, we have a giant list of competitors right off the bat, which is pretty cool. So I find this, you know, tool inside of like the keyword research to be quite powerful as well. We've covered a lot in today's video already. We've covered like the product research, the black box. There's obviously Trendstar as well. As you can see, you can add many different products right here. You know, add a few keywords and you can see the BSR trends within a certain niche, which is pretty cool. So you can see the list of your products right here as well. So you can see your product ideas, listen to optimization. Um, Index Checker is also pretty cool as well. So if you have like a Amazon product that you're selling already, you can see if it's actually indexed within the search results because if it's not indexed basically. So what in indexing your product means in the search results is basically whether or not if you search like a given keyword, that your product is going to show up so it doesn't have to show up at like the top like the very first page or you know at the very top or even be discoverable at all but like it's important to make sure and to check that your product is going to be indexed um which is what you want to do right here inside of helium 10. so um listing analyzer audience analytics but basically this is where you can you know add a keyword tracker so you can basically like track your products and keywords right here so i've added some products right here as an example there's market tracker profits we've gone over keyword research um i like you know these two right here 
are very, very powerful. You can save like a bunch of keywords and add like a list. You know, we can, there's also the misspellings checker tool right here, which is pretty cool. So you can go ahead and actually like make sure that there aren't any, like, any misspellings within um, the keywords you find. You'll be surprised how common that can be. And yeah, learning as well. We went over learning, which is basically like a free, you know, high ticket course on how you can sell on Amazon. There's obviously pro training where you can learn how you can use Helium 10 right off the bat because I know it can be overwhelming. And for each like module or section inside of Helium 10, and you can see that you can actually watch these videos and it will give you like a rundown of how you can actually use a part of the tool, which is pretty cool. And there's operations. And yeah, we've covered basically like pretty much all the things or like the main tools and the features inside of Helium 10 that we can use and take advantage of right off the bat. Obviously, like a couple more things I want to cover before we like, you know, end the video. Right off the bat, if you are looking for the Helium 10 discount or coupon, like I said, you can click the top link down below and you can activate these deals. So if we go over here and let's just copy the coupon code even a HD for an example. If we go over here to pricing, these are going to be the different pricing plans. So Helium 10 starts off at $37 a month. And as you can see right here, and all the plans are backed by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can actually try these. So you can try out Helium 10 to see if it's going to be right for you um, on, during that time period as well. And as you can see, Platinum plan, $97 a month, and the Diamond plan, which is going to be $197 a month. So what I recommend if you are like interested in using Helium 10 is to go for either the Platinum plan right here, which is going to be like the most popular plan for $97 a month if you do have a bit of extra money. Or if you're just like completely brand new, then I think the $37 a month plan will be more than sufficient because you get full access to the Chrome extension right here as well. So if we go back to pricing right here, and if we apply the coupon code Imminent HD, click on apply, you'll see that we actually get a 50% discount for the first month right here. So instead of paying $97, we actually pay only $48.50, which is pretty cool. And we also get like a 50% discount for the diamond plan right here as well. Now, if you're intending to use Helium 10 for like a long time, like long term, and you want like a discount for life, so to speak, then you can actually apply the coupon code imminent right here, and you'll get, actually get a 10% off forever discount, which is a pretty cool deal if you want to use Helium 10 long term. And then what you can do to stack the savings is you can click over here to annual, where you get an even bigger discount. So if we move the coupon right here, you right off the back get a deal and a bit of a discount by going with the at, with the annual plan. But we, if you actually apply the coupon code imminent, we get a 10% discount for life. So or the forever discount they call it, right? And as you can see, we get an even bigger discount right off the bat. So that's the best way to save some money. So in my personal opinion, I think Helium 10 is an amazing tool if you are looking to like really get an unfair advantage when it comes to growing your Amazon business and to really you know, get some helpful data so you can basically grow your business and take it to the next level. All that being said, another tool I'd recommend as well checking out if you are not interested in Helium 10 is going to be a tool called Jungle Scout as well. Now Jungle Scout is kind of similar to a certain degree to Helium 10. They do have similar features, but but I'm just saying if you are looking for an alternative to Helium 10, then what I recommend is Jungle Scout. I actually leave my review down below where I compare both Jungle Scout and Helium 10 together so you can make an informed decision to see which one of these tools are going to be right for you. But overall, I think Helium 10 is more than sufficient. I think it's actually a bit better in some areas than Jungle Scout for the most part when it comes to some of their tools. But obviously, both of these tools are really amazing. I actually have both of these tools myself. I have Jungle Scout right here, and I have Helium 10. So I just want to make a quick video going over my Helium 10 review, going over how you can get some discounts, going over an honest review so you can really get a good understanding of like all the features and what you can actually do inside of Helium 10. So. Links will be down below to all the discounts so you can get the best coupons and discounts for Helium 10. And I'll leave a link down below to um, a bunch more like reviews as well and a lot more tutorial videos for Helium 10 and just like, you know, these Amazon product research tools in general. And yeah, thanks for watching today's video.